I've been assassin. I write the way you swing a trend, you think you rock I write the tank, hawk stuff, sound like you're fine. I write our team with my. Hey, what's up, my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less chat. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and also entertainment purposes only. Okay, this platform consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting tea with some shade and some sensitive topics. So, if you are sensitive to people's opinions, this is not the platform for you. So, in today's segment, we have Tiana Teller and Kayla Nicole, okay? We got Glorilla album we're gonna be talking about and we have Erica and Glow regarding this T-Pain song that's on her album, okay? So before we get into all of this hot ass, please make sure to like this video. So Kayla went on to Andrew Reese's podcast and was asked a question, okay? Now, we're gonna get into what she said through captions. Can I play the video, you know, do the copyright or whatever? I don't know how everybody else things are working. So, we're gonna just get into that. Let's go. So, you weren't in a relationship. That's what she says. We weren't in a relationship. One of my favorite, so she's gonna tell you one of her stories. Crazy Kayla stories. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> because I don't have that many. I'm sure you don't, but I'm a Scorpio. Have that crazy in me, though, because she's a Scorpio, I'm guessing. Okay, what did you do, Angel Reese asked Kayla. Dun, dun. So I was dating a guy. Mm-hmm. He dumped me. No, he didn't. Through a text message. Oh, wow. Dumped me for the singer slash actress who was famous at the time. Okay. Dumped me for her. Lied about it for months. Then popped out with her. Mm hmm. Public thing, and it was like, oh my God, we love them. So people like the couple. Another like celebrity, iconic relationship, okay? I'm devastated. I'm sure you was, girl. And for Halloween that year, I dressed up as her. Ha, ha, ha. So this was her on Halloween, okay? And this is Tiana Teller. Okay, pay attention. And it went viral. Oh, so she really liked that. Yeah, he called me crazy. Now, backstory. Get to know Kayla Nicole, the former girlfriend of NFL star Travis Kelce, if I'm saying his last name correctly. The on-air reporter and record-breaking tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs started dating in 2017, off and on for five years. Now, Tiana Teller, she caught a wimp of everything that was going on online and what was being said because people kept putting two and two together, said Tiana Teller. It's really crazy that everyone is allowed to bother me and be distasteful. Everybody gets to play while I move with grace, always. But now I want to have a little Sagittarius fun too, and it's a problem? Freak the Iman part, Iman part. I'm divorced and happily so. However, her choice of words were very distasteful and uncalled for. She knew exactly what she was doing. That lady said she was famous at the time. Also said, I don't care who see it. It was very distasteful and uncalled for. Most importantly, she knew people would dig. So automatically, my name is attached to the nonsense. At that point, she didn't need to at me. Okay? That was clearly a quick search. My name was trending without an at before even saying a word. That's how I seen it. Laugh out loud. On top of the fact that the math wasn't mathing. And the facts weren't facting. However, the level of cringe factor was, laugh out loud, I'm finding out just like the world that her intentions were ill and petty. She pulled the black card when it came to Taylor Swift, but in the same circle turned around and tried to bully the black woman that was married to her situationship she claimed dumped her for me. Dressing up like me for what? 
crazy part about it is I actually show love under her pic when she posted it. Like I did the other blah, 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 blah people that dressed up as me for Halloween. Whole time, I didn't even know she was being shady. Now I do. So in that case, petty panties on, okay? I had my little fun. I said what I said, and now I'm done and headed back to set. Kayla says, sometimes I'm asked about personal life and decide to share the lessons I've learned. To reiterate what I said in the hour-long interview, learn from my mistakes. If you watched in its entirety, you'll know I don't condone the crazy decision I made literally 10 years ago. So she just putting it out there that it's old, it's not nothing new, it's not present, and it's not relevant for real. So a little timeline from TL and T Tiana Teller and Iman. 2011, Teller and um, Iman met at a New York party, but Teller was already in a relationship at the time. 2013, Teller and Iman began dating while he was recovering from a knee surgery. Now 2014, Teller and Iman made their red carpet debut at the BET Hip Hop Awards. 2015, Teller and Iman announced their engagement during their baby shower at the Museum of Contempor Contemporary Art in Cleveland. Okay, 2016, Teller and Iman secretly married at home in the bathroom where their daughter, Junie, was born. Now, Teller and Iman have two daughters, Junie and Rue Rose. In September 2023, Teller announced on Instagram that she and Iman had separated but that cheating was not the reason. Okay, but now we know that Mr. Iman been a cheater. Okay, now he was messing with Kayla while messing with Tiana. Okay, and that's just how it went. Do not know if Tiana knew about Shorty. Because I doubt if she did know she would be liking the girl's pictures. Okay, of her dressing up as her for Halloween. I don't know. Sometimes people petty like that and do know and act like they don't. I don't know. But at the end of the day, look at Iman. He's out with Amber Rose, and that was supposed to be his newest fling thing. Do not know if that's accurate or not, but people have been talking. I don't care if he was with Tiana. I don't care if he, if he was with Beyonce. These men be out here cheating. They don't care how you look or how successful you are. They going on to the next twat. Okay, so if this is true, she can talk about whatever she wants to talk about. Her flings, her sneaky links, her situationships. It doesn't even matter. She didn't say no name. She didn't do none of that. So it's not really her fault. It's the internet fault for digging and putting Tiana in it. That's just what's going to happen. People are going to put two and two together. But that's her story. That's her lesson learned. She was heartbroken. She got dumped over a text. But she was with, you know, the other NFL player for off and on for five years. So, mm, it is what it is, okay? That was a little thing she had. And Tiana spoke up because her name was all over the internet, okay? And she ain't had a clue until she looked and see what the hell was going on. And she seen that Kayla was being shady, so she said what she said. Now, should it keep going? No, because Tiana's not even with Iman no more, and the girl haven't even been or deal with the guy for 10 years, allegedly. So, I mean, they could put that to rest. <laughs> Glorious. Yes, her album is out. Glorilla dropped her album yesterday on the 11th okay she has 15 songs on it i want you down in the comments below let me know what is your favorite track on this album if you have any is this a hit or a miss i'm gonna let y'all know mines in a few now glorilla's glorious has entered the top five on us itunes okay so it's making its way it's also number three on top albums and rod wave is number one all right, there's no skips. This is what's trending on Twitter. And if you click it, Glorilla pops up. Okay, they're saying that there's no skips. They like it. Glorilla hasn't let up on these hits. Album had no skips. Glorilla's album is on repeat with no skips. I gotta give it to her. So a lot of people like the album. Now, me personally, I like, um, hold on, you already know, Procedure. With Lotto, definitely like that song. I should have circled it. I didn't circle it, but it should have been circled. The ones circled are my favorite ones so far. TGIF, we already know. What You Know About Me, that's what Sexy Red, I like that song. Now, Stop Playing is one of my favorites. Don't Deserve with um, Money Long, one of my favorites. 
Rain Down On Me, one of my favorites. Um, Glow's Prayer is good. How I Look, Beefing With a, About a, a... How I Look, yeah. That's my song with Megan Thee Stallion, okay? That's one of my favorites. Um, I Ain't Going, I Like. Um, Step was okay. And number 13, Let Her Cook was okay, all right? Another okay was I Love Her with T-Pain. That was okay to me. And Queen of Memphis, I liked, okay? So, now... Glow ate that line up when she said, she ain't slipping, she ain't Cinderella. Gag the live glow, gag them. Okay, so some people are peeping at, and they saying that went to JT. Both Glorilla and Lotto can truly take their victory laps. Like they came out on top against the spot takers and shakers. See, that's why you should never listen to people telling you your value is gone. JT and Ice can stay bothered. Glorilla was definitely trending. Glorilla has so many hits on this album. Like, she did that. Yeah, she did that. All right, now let's see the haters. Just finished Glorilla's album and baby, all I gotta say is Glorilla here to stay. That album had no skips. No Glorilla slander will be tolerated. If you don't like her, seek therapy. <laughs> Glorilla doing all of that talking about this verse alone clears her whole album. And they talking about JT verse on the Cinderella album. Like, bye bye I know what to tell y'all. Glorilla album got some real hitters, okay? Glorilla waxed JT using her album title City Cinderella on her latest song with Sexy Red. You won't ever catch me slip. I ain't no freaking Cinderella, stupid itch. Can you say that again? She ain't gonna be slipping. <laughs> she ain't no damn Cinderella. That shoe gonna stay on that damn foot, girl. Oh, this Glorilla album has some bangers. Glorilla praise on my timeline. Okay? Praise. <laughs> Glorilla got me ready to head to church with that rain on me. I'm gonna add it to my gospel playlist. I ain't gonna lie. That song, Rain On Me, got me emotional. Because I'm on a journey right now. Okay? Glorilla was in her bag this whole album. No skips had me bobbing my head. Bob, Bob, Bob. Now nah, let me stop. <laughs> um, Glorilla and Money Long did it for the girlies. That hate watching our homegirls suffering behind these guys. Yes, I'm pretty sure that song is definitely going to relate to a lot of us females. Okay, a lot. Glorilla's Glor Glorious is now the female rap album released in 2024 with the most tracks to enter Apple Music Top Songs US, 13, surpassing Megan Thee Stallion, who had 11, okay? Those are the tracks that, you know, is on the, you know, yeah, I understand what she's saying. Now, this was going along. Which one, Glorilla's new T-Pain song was originally a 2020 Erica Banks and T-Pain collab? But let's not forget that that collab with Erica Banks did not go nowhere because it wasn't even talked about, mentioned, it wasn't even out. So they're, they're trying to give a comparison, and I don't see where's the comparison. You want to see what I'm saying? Glorilla actually got the track. If the business isn't done, that record is fair game. Cutting the demo means nothing if that song isn't yours. I like them both, but Erica... Make me feel sexy while singing it. Okay. Erica voice and the singing are fire. Sorry, Glow. Erica version is better. Y'all just ain't gonna say that because y'all don't like her. What? Gerba. Erica is a way better rapper than Glow. You can like Glow more, but the skill is skill. Erica definitely won. So we see a lot of people are saying Erica Banks. Okay. Erica finessed it just right. I love Big Glow, though. Erica ate down. Flow queen. Okay, so. It's sad when these artists that is signed to a major label cannot do what they feel. If Erica's version on a song did not come out, it means her label didn't approve of the song. Since we see it's on Glow's album, it means her label gave her the go-ahead to release it on her album. Now, if the single do numbers, Erica is going to be pissed at her record label for not approving the record. I'm so glad we didn't get that shit. They talking about Erica, okay? Because they played Erica first on the slide. 
I like Erica's better, and I'm not even a fan of hers. It just flows well. Erica should have dropped this fire. Damn, both them stuff's fire, but I kind of like Erica one, I think. Come Glow made that sh hard. Glow. I like both, but it's something about Glow accent that does it for me. Her sound is just different. Erica sounds like Nikki and Megan the Stallion a little. Glow, the one that came out. I swear we don't give a F. They should have did it together. It's Glow for me. So it's like 50-50. A lot of people liking Glow. A lot of people liking Erica Banks. Okay, let me know which one do y'all like down in the comments below. If you heard Erica's version. I haven't heard that until now. Okay, so clearly it wasn't out. Nobody was playing it. It wasn't a song. Okay, clearly it had to be a snippet or something. I don't know what was going on. But me personally, I like both of them, but I like Glow more, okay? I'm listening to the... And then on top of that, they had a whole bunch of auto-tune on Erica's singing part. Like, that was too much going on. And Glow was actually... Hers was more relatable. It sounded like more relatable, like a storytelling, like a... You know, like she was telling a story. That's just me in my opinion, okay? Now, let me know down in the comments below, how do y'all feel about Glorilla's album? Um, my thing is this, y'all talking about some, oh, if a Glorilla's, um, song, if that song makes hits or whatever, then Erica's gonna be upset. Who cares if she be upset? Okay, and just because Glow is gonna make hits off her if she does, doesn't mean that Erica would've made the same hits, because Erica's songs really don't be making hits. Like, I'm sorry to say it, she, it don't be making hits. Now, Glow, for some reason, has a more higher, like, it's more spotlight to her name, you know? So, it is what it is. That doesn't mean that Erica was going to eat and get a hit <laughs> if she put the song out, you know? It could have went either way. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Now, Kayla, speaking what she had to say, and asked, she was asked a question, so she answered it, okay? Like, if you have a past or whatever, you could, you could speak about whatever you want to speak because that's your life. That's stuff that you went through. And if anybody's attached to it, they were just part of the story, it is what it is. Um, and I don't see anything wrong with it. But Tiana tell us, you know, she had to speak up as anybody would if their name is all over the internet. And you're like, what in the hell is going on? Why, why am I in this? You know, but sometimes that's just what happens. But anyway, I said everything that I need to say in this video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, click the notification bell. All of that good stuff. Don't be a hater. Run it up. And I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, to the loose, bye bye. I brought a G wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought four doors, had to get ready for four. Yeah, we brought four doors, had to get ready for four.